is ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so in this demonstration speech, I decided since it's summer, not so hot today, but has been hot this last month, that I would demonstrate making a banana split. And people consider them healthy, don't they, because they put bananas in them? Uh, and I always grew up next to an ice cream shop, and my parents would never spend three, four dollars on a banana split. So we were required, if we wanted one, we were making them at home. So I've kind of perfected, uh, not even perfected it, but I do know how to make them. Um, my kids love it when I break out the bananas and we make a big old banana split because you can make them however you want. There's so many different options. Nobody has to make them the same and you get a cake, everybody gets a piece of cake and that's all you have. In a banana split, you can have three toppings, two toppings, as much whipped cream as you want, as long as you're, you know, don't really care how much sugar you get. Um, so to start off, I learned the easiest way to make a banana, cut a banana for banana split is to actually cut off the ends, cut it right down the middle, and split the banana. So then you just place that in your bowl. And of course, I cut them a little bit again, but that's what makes it fun. Um, and then you'll start out, and then you'll do three scoops of ice cream, is usually the traditional banana split. Just kind of place them in the banana so that you can get a little bit of banana with every bite. Um, like I said earlier, there's multiple types of toppings that you can put on there. Caramel, chocolate, strawberry, um, butterscotch, marshmallow. Um, but I, the three examples I have are strawberry, caramel, and chocolate. So just pour that on, however much you want. Maybe not my favorite part, but and then of course the cherry. for each scoop of ice cream. <laughs> and then a spoon and you get to enjoy. So no matter winter, spring, summer, fall, you can always enjoy the big heaping of a banana split. <laughs> <laughs>